Hey everyone. I have some boxes to open. I have, oh my gosh, my lighting is so dark. I have Miss Sumikia Hire. You can see she still has um, cinnamon arms. So really she's just her gray face and gray bust and a couple of gray hands. Cinnamon feet. <laughs> so I, uh, finally decided to go for it and get her her own body and as it turns out it is her that I got <laughs> so it's kind of funny I I don't know if it's funny or not but I just went ahead and got a gray transcendence on the last um, doll drop Obviously, I already have a gray girl, a gray transcendence. She was my chaos head that I got a couple weeks back or so now. And I was just saying, I haven't gotten a full smart doll body in at all this year, I don't think. I've gotten plenty of heads, I've gotten plenty of parts, I've got chaos stuff, and I have gotten unassembled kits built for me. So I got, I've introduced new dolls, like my clear one and um, stuff like that. but. Uh, the only, I guess you could say the closest thing I got to a full doll was the gray, um, on a cell, like the kit that had the Gen 2 frame doll. And, but she doesn't have a face up. She still doesn't have a face up. Um, so here she is. You can see there, I should say transcendence in gray. So anyway, I, thinking about it, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for, uh, not for going this long, but it's because I kept putting it off and putting it off. I really did want an Evolve frame, so now I have one, um, but I wanted a specific one. I wanted Grey Prowess, and I got her in the Chaos thing. Um, so I did add a couple things to my order. Basically, I think just a couple pairs of shoes, but here's her lovely um, wig. And then the spare bust that comes with, um, I forget what this is called. Is this just like the medium smooth for gray, I think? Um, I got some purple vinyl pumps, which I don't think I have, but I might. And I got these fantastic um, orange um, Chelsea boots. I wanted the purple ones, but I also put that off, and now they're sold out again. <laughs> I'm sure they'll come back. Um, oh look, I did get, uh, <laughs> the little, like, poke fun at himself, uh, business card that Danny sent out, so it says Danny to janitor and firefighter, if you can see that, his little business card, it's kind of fun, and it's fun to just see, um, like, the frontline girls there, so there is a Coco Pride, a Tea Courage, um, uh, Cinnamon Courage. I know she's not called that in Cinnamon. I don't remember what she's called. Um, another another girl with the vitiligo, and then um, oh gosh, I can't even remember the names of some of these girls. And the girl with the, you know, the, oh Survivor. Um, and then the last one, I wonder. I can't tell, but I wonder if that's Foundation. That doesn't look like it though. I don't know. Anyway, so fun to get the little business card. I ordered, oh, I did order a um, nice black t-shirt because I don't have one and I, I, my Sumika has the extra large bust and I think I'm just going to keep that on her. So I wanted to get a shirt specifically for her that's going to get stretched out. If you don't typically put your girls into, um, and then the clicky clacky stand, I guess it comes standard now. See, it's been so long. I don't even know how long this has been the standard thing, but I definitely have not gotten a full set doll since sometime last year. I don't even know. And Oh, and then here is um, the same image that's on his business card on the postcard. And, oh, it is foundation. So it's like all his frontline girls that have, like, differences, like he talks about. Basically all the people that, um, all the all the things that you don't typically see in a lot of other doll companies. So I think that's pretty cool. 
Um, I'm leaving her wig in there because I'm not going to use it. I am definitely going to be selling her head. There's no reason for me to keep it. Yes, there are different eyes in here. Um, but I like the eyes that I have for her. I'm not going to lie. Everybody, <laughs> a lot of people have commented there. Um, they do like the eyes that I put in mine. Oh, she's just so cute. Here she is. Beautiful gear body. You know, so I discovered I actually did get a piece of Evolve frame when I went to Puddle, that local doll show to me. Um, I traded some stuff with another smart doll owner and she happened to have a white frame piece and I was like, that's just cool. I could use it for something. And I didn't realize until later when I was checking out at home, it is an evolved frame piece because it has that haptic sensory stuff, right? Like the click, click, click feeling and the sound. And I was like, wow, this is evolved. But I think it must be um, like an early, like, I don't know, prototype type thing where they're testing out because from what I understand, the Evolve frame absolutely does not coincide at all with the Gen 2 frame, but this piece that I have does. It should work, and I'm going to put it, I think, in another clear girl. Even though I don't have enough pieces for a whole clear doll, um, I'm going to find a way. <laughs> and so anyway, here she is. She has the nice orange head cap with the magnet holes, which is really cool. Oh, my battery's low, so I don't have a lot of time to finish this. I'm just going to swap out her head really quick. I do want to do a video comparing the Evolve frame for me to other dolls. Here she is. Everybody who is considering or who watches this and wants her, I'm definitely going to be putting her up for sale as she comes with her eyes and her wig. Um, but my girl is staying with me. I'm gonna, here she is. I have to take off these little um, horns that I put on her the other day. Take off her magnets. Put my girl on. Oh, I actually, I probably will keep that um, magnetized head to or magnetized head cap because I don't have one of those yet. I'll probably switch it for a non-magnetized one. But see the difference. I'm just gonna show you what she looks like. I'm not going to mess up the body right now, um, but they're the same, they're the same, exact same, but I wish you could see, okay, so you can see her, those are the eyes that you see that come with for every Transcendence from Smart Doll, and then here are mine, they're definitely more, they're like red and almost bloodshot but they have like a gold iris, so it's really fantastic because it actually kind of makes me think of like um, the Twilight Vampires, how they get those golden eyes, but they still have red too, so it's like right after they turn. I don't know. I love mine, and I named her Sumika, and she is staying with me because she was my first um, transcendence. Otherwise, they are exactly and precisely the same. Just different eyes, different head caps. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to put this one and her wig switched out head cap up for sale. Have a great night, everybody. Oh, you know what? I take it back. I have more. Let me pause this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I said I was taking it back. I have more because I do. I have two more heads. Like, I need more floating heads. Are you guys just thinking I'm crazy yet or what? Where's my scissors? What did I do with them? I don't know. There they are. Okay. <laughs> I uh, swapped ahead with a, well, these are both from fellow Smart Doll owners. Um, it's the one I did a straight up head swap with. Um, I traded this, I traded for this one with a um, Felicity, a Cinnamon Felicity. I had her for quite a while. I, I had gotten her in Chaos and I, I could just never figure out what to do with her. I never really put her onto anything, you know, or made her into a full, like, doll, or I never named her. Just nothing like that. And so I guess I always just had the intention to kind of trade her up or sell her. I 
did try a couple times to sell her and nobody really showed interest. And so then when my trade partner for this head said she was looking for a cinnamon um, girl head, I offered her up and she accepted the trade. So I got this one. And <laughs> I know you're telling me, why, why do you need... Um, another blue head but look okay what is this this is a cow it's painted up it's faced up to be um the girl from it's sally i know her name is sally from um nightmare before christmas is that it i think that's it um i do think that's super adorable and i might keep her like this um through maybe halloween but then i might change up her face up i don't know i have an idea kind of that I want to do. Very cute though. So thank you trade partner for this fabulous little head. I don't really have many spare blue heads. I just really have like the heads that are meant for the bodies that they came with. Um, I think right now I have one spare head, two blue heads. One of them is actually out with face up. I had it for forever. It was my very last blank blue head. Um, I only have, I think, well, I have the two custom heads, but um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I this will be this will be like one of two spare blue heads because I just don't have that many alternate heads for blue because I ended up selling them or trading them or whatever. So it's nice to have that and nice to have that little character. And then so this one was not a swap. This was um, just a straight up. Uh, purchase, which, why, why, <laughs> why would I need this, um, because I like it, I guess, and I don't know, I'm definitely having a, a strange summer where I'm working really a lot, like a lot, a lot, and I have a lot of overtime, so I have a little bit of extra money, and I'm just trying to get my collection to where I want it to be, plus just picking up some extra things along the way that I think are just some things that I would like to have, I guess. Um, let me tell you, today, earlier today, I was in this very room. I was, I just came in to do laundry. Because my dresser, my clothing dresser is over there. And, um, I noticed that two of my dolls were like, I had scooped out their eyeballs to switch them out and I didn't put any eyes in. And so I stopped to do their eye changes, and one of them was a resin doll. And I, I just, I, I have to say, I'm getting spoiled by smart dolls and how light and portable and easily it is to change stuff on them. And so I went to go change my resin doll, and literally she fell apart. And I just, like, because they're internal, like, you know, strung and S hooks and all this stuff, and I was changing her eyes. And I kept changing, moving her head and twisting around this and that way to like push the eyes in the way I want. And her S hook churned and her stringing just went straight down through her body and she just literally fell apart in my hands. And I was trying to put her back together and I couldn't. And I was in near tears, very near tears. I was very frustrated. I still haven't put her back together. Anyway, so gosh, this is gorgeous. So this is, um, a secondhand cinnamon girl. This is definitely a Kanata sculpt, um, but she has like butterfly wings painted around her um, eyes. So I'm hoping I can um, have her out at least for the summertime. She would definitely be a very summery girl. She's really cute. Um, I think, I don't remember who the artist is, but I will definitely confirm so I can keep track of that um, for later. So thank you to my swap partner and my um, sales partner for these heads. And now I have my transcendence body and I will be putting my other transcendence head up for uh, adoption. Actually, what I'd really like to do is a trade, but I'm guessing the thing that I'm looking for in trade probably won't be available. But Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this is a good uh, midweek video for everybody. It's actually my Monday, my work Monday. Um, I have to go back to work tonight, even though I only had one day off this week. 
<sighs> it's, a little, it's busy summer for me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic evening. See you later.